Here's a really nice species of yucca you should be growing if you live in the northern zone. This is Yucca Gloriosa Superba. Uh, very stiff uh, leaves on them. Our tallest one has about six feet of trunk on it or so. And uh, we have quite a few of these in our garden. They're one of my favorites. They're very hard to come by. And uh, I originally got these from a uh, old friend of mine in White Rock, um, one of the Palm Society members back in the uh, 1980s. And uh, I was lucky enough to uh, dig two small ones out of his garden. And uh, they originally, I think, came from Gerard, the uh, palm, palm father in, uh, in Vancouver. Sort of like the, uh, my mentor of uh, palms. I uh, looked up to him and I learned a lot from uh, Gerard. So um, we used to actually call it um, Yucca purii, but they are actually Yucca gloriosa superba. They do flower nicely and they're very sharp. So watch it. The uh, ends of the leaves are very pointy and they're sharp along the edges too but uh, they do uh, grow quite tall nice trunk on them and look very very exotic uh, here in this far north and there's uh, there's some nice clumps of them here on Salt Spring Island in private gardens and uh, there's actually a variegated form of Gloriosa as well we do have some variegated ones in our garden and this one here and these ones here are growing under some big trees and uh, they're, they're, like I say, they're hardy. They can handle a lot of drought. You can see there's some small sago palms growing with them. Dickia, Fosteriana. There's a Camerops humulus seedling. And of course, there's Yucca gigantea right there, which has been in the ground for 13 years. So if you can find these folks, Yucca gloriosa superba, put them in your garden, give them a try. They're, uh, they're a good cold tolerant plant for northern uh, growing zones. All right, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos. Cheers.